Good morning. And uh, the hashtag for today is still the same as yesterday. OMUS12. Is that right, Andy? Yes. So that's it. Okay. All right. So if you're if you're on Twitter or you're you're hashtagging anything from the conference, please use that hashtag. Uh, we're gonna do a little housekeeping first. Uh, what I want to mention. Okay. Um, two things about longer term. Uh, housekeeping. And for the first item is about today, uh, Chris and Brandon from MIT have graciously offered a tour of MIT at the end of the day. And uh, after that, I think there'll be like a, a happy hour dinner thing, informal at Masters of Science. But uh, just to whoever can join, hey, Sorry. good morning. Sorry to interrupt. Good morning. I have to add on behalf of Chris that this is not going to be a tour of the historic buildings of MIT but actually you're gonna see some tech. So that's the difference to what you saw yesterday here. <laughs> Thank you, that, that's a good clarification. And uh, I guess they need to know how many people are actually interested in that. So they have a rough number of, so let's see. Wow, okay. Are you taking a head count there? I'll leave it to the MIT engineers. Okay, so from my understanding, uh, Brandon will take you there when we wrap today, which should be around 5 o'clock. OK, you're just putting your hand in. All right. Um, and uh, through uh, over the course of the last 12 hours, thanks to Jody here at, at Harvard, there's also an offer on Friday to have a tour of some of the Harvard AV facilities between 1 and 3 on Friday afternoon. Uh, I think our session planning today will fill up the morning of Friday, which would leave Friday afternoon open for that. So would anybody be open that? And if so, how many people? Great. So we'll confirm that. And we'll just we'll make an announcement about that tomorrow in terms of logistics, I guess, because we'll be working out that out today. All right. So um, we are going to have a, um, uh, a little community uh, recap in just a moment. but. The first thing I wanted to do is, because um, we're still waiting on, yep. I want to introduce you to these two links. They're very easy to access. The first one with the, uh, the day two, that's today. That's, when you pull this up, it's going to be a Google spreadsheet that's formatted with an open session. So we're going to be using both of these spreadsheets to plan the day, both for today and tomorrow. This is what they look like here. Here's the plan. Um, we're going to go over some of the proposed sessions that are on the website. And the folks here that had proposed them, I'm going to ask you just to introduce yourself, talk a little bit about your session, why you proposed it, and whatnot, so everybody can get a sense of what's available. And then uh, it's actually going to be up to the people who have proposed the sessions to find space, edit the, edit the spreadsheet, Put in your session name at the time block that you want, and we're going to form this session totally synchronously. And it should be pretty straightforward. In terms of planning the sessions, here's what you need to know. Main one is this room. So if you need presentation, like if you're going to present something and there's a, there's a large interest in your session, we may want to have it in this room. Main two is room 108, which is right down the way here. It's a, it's a larger classroom, but it also has AV tech in there for people to give presentations. So if it's a medium-sized interest, that's where you're going to want to like aim to plan your, your, your session. The key with main one and two is that if you want to give a presentation, if you want to hook up with your laptop and show something, use this room or 108. Because breakout room one and two, they're like conference rooms. While there's light tech in there, it's, those rooms are really set aside for planning sessions or birds of a feather thing where you want to sit and talk with people about shared interests or whatever the session topic is. So that's how you should aim to break out your scheduling. The AV rooms do one thing, and then the breakout rooms have a totally di different purpose. Is that, is that kind of clear to everybody? Any questions so far? So in our group of proposed sessions, we have working groups, we have presentations, but we also have lightning talks. The lightning talks are the most popular. So we're going to be having a blocks dedicated to lightning talks. So if you've proposed a lightning talk and you want to give one, 
I propose that you don't schedule it in the morning, but instead you put your name in the lightning talk box. And we have six slots for this afternoon. And then there's going to be another six slots tomorrow morning for lightning talks. There's also room available if, you, if lightning talks aren't your thing or you've connected with somebody and you really want to talk about something in a breakout room, there's still room available. You can plan a session alongside a lightning talk. It's totally up to you. But in terms of planning the lightning talks, we'd like to group them all in this room because, again, people really love them. It's a great opportunity to see software or, or prototypes really quickly, ask a few questions, and then we move on. The Capture Agent Showcase is also a lightning talk session. So you'll see that right after lunch, we'll be doing the Capture Agent Showcase. And all the Capture Agent folks will be giving, giving like a 10-minute talk on their Capture Agent, how it works with Matterhorn, et cetera. They're also going to set up some gear in the room right next door here, which is room, I think it's 104. So at the same time as the Capture Agent lightning talks, there'll be demos. So if you ever want, if you want to just, you know, Go next door, check out some gear, come back. It's totally open. And those demos are also going to be going on during the lightning talk session. So the mornings, we're going to really try and make these sessions, longer presentations, working groups, that sort of thing. The afternoons are lightning talks and demos. And the same availability is open for tomorrow, too. So we're not limited to what we have today. You can see we've got tons of space open in the morning. After the lunch break tomorrow, I'm assuming that's going to be the Harvard AV tour. But if anybody wants to stick around and, and schedule something, you're totally welcome to. We have the space. But I'd really, my proposal is that we aim to fill up today first with all the available sessions. Each block is about 40 minutes right now. We had to condense it because we're, we're getting off to a later start than planned. If you think you have. Uh, a working group that's going to be longer than 40 minutes, try and block for two things, if you can. But it's, it's going to be a land grab, I guess. You know, everyone's going to try and schedule where they can. And this is going to be a real, uh, an interesting experiment in co cooperation and collaboration. Um, so if somebody scheduled something in the morning today, and it's the only time you can give your session, maybe try and work it out with them. But we're going to do it all open here together. I'll help facilitate. Uh, and we'll hopefully do this within the next half an hour. Uh, yes, Jody. Yep, I will put the URL. Sorry about that. So the first bit.ly link will be the schedule for today. The second bit.ly link is for tomorrow. Chris. Uh, can I call Chris for this Yeah, for the, the whole day? Uh, no, just for the first session. For the first session? Sure. Yeah. Uh, do you have access to the spreadsheet? <laughs> but this is this is a good uh, example. So you had Campus Video Portal, right? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, so Campus Video Portal. Thanks. Now, before we dive in and schedule things, I actually wanted to go through the list of proposed sessions so that people could get a sense of what's proposed and who proposed them, so we can put names with faces. All right. Um, so uh, here's a question, and my question is for uh, for Mara and Olaf. We wanted to do a quick community introduction at some point. Do you want to do this now before we plan the sessions? Or do you want to give an, do we want to introduce people for sessions and then, well, I guess I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, because maybe be, before we do the planning or during you do the planning, we, we take the opportunity of introducing the board to you um, which you have heard of yesterday, um, but uh, probably couldn't recognize because not all of the board members were here or present on stage. So we would like to change that and I would like to ask all of the board members to come to the stage for a moment. So you can actually identify these. So who are we? We, we, we are certainly not the ones driving the uh, opencast community because that's you and we're certainly not the ones driving uh, the Matterhorn project because that's the committers but we are the opencast board and we try to facilitate things in many ways so everything that comes uh, across our way as a, as a problem as a challenge or as something that we or you as a community have to deal with 
you can come to us and we'll try to help you with that. Um, there are many, many things we try to facilitate. So for example, this conference was prepared partially on behalf of the board, especially Brian or Hagen should be mentioned here, but also when it comes to some strategic thinking or acting even, uh, that's also something we are dealing with. So uh, we are meeting regularly. You should have received a digest of our latest meetings um, where we try to be transparent about what we are doing for the community in general and for the project. And if there's anything that you think we should be dealing with, then you can address the board either to our mailing list or to any of these individuals, which I would like to ask to introduce themselves very shortly, if that's OK with you. I'll start here with Matt. Sure. I'm Mara Hancock. I'm um, the associate CIO for academic engagement at UC Berkeley and have been involved with the uh, OpenCast project since uh, it was in the idea phase. So. Does anybody know me by now? I'm Brian O'Hagan. Uh, I'm based at Columbia University, where I'm a senior technical, technical specialist in media platforms at a group called the Columbia Center for New Media Teaching and Learning, where we look at purposeful integrations of technology for teaching and learning purposes. Well, of Schulte, it has RIC, uh, multimedia services, they are also part of this effort since the very beginnings, I think. I'm uh, Chris Brooks from the University of Saskatchewan. Um, we've been part of the, the Matterhorn effort since the beginning as well, but uh, my position on the board is actually a committer-elected uh, position. So one of the committers uh, every year gets elected to serve on the board as to kind of liaise begin, uh, between committers and board. And I think those elections are October or something, something like that. So uh, this is the kind of seat that changes probably most rapidly every year, or at least has uh, opportunity to. Hi, my name is Andy Waskalevitz. I'm the co-founder of Entwine with Tobias Bunden, and uh, was, I guess, probably the youngest or newbie on this board. I think I started uh, working on this in in, uh, in June. Um, have been involved on the periphery of, of Matterhorn for uh, since its in, um, conception. So um, excited to be a part of it, and hope that uh, I can contribute. Yeah, my name is Rudiger Rolf. You probably noticed me yesterday already. Um, I'm working for the University of Osnabrück in Germany, and uh, I'm working there at the uh, Central Services for e-learning and teaching. Um, and yeah, I'm involved in Matterhorn from the beginning, too. I'm Kim Thanos. I'm actually in an appointed role on the board. I have a small company, and I do a lot of work across the open source communities, helping with uh, community health and development and sustainability planning. And so enjoyed doing that on, on behalf of the open gas community as part of the board. I'm Vicente Goyanes. <clears throat> I'm the head of IT media services uh, for University of Vigo in northwest of Spain. And since a uh, year, more or less, we also uh, funded a Deltec video research company focused on, on Motherhorn and in lecture recording. And a special interest of mine uh, as part of the board is the uh, rise or the grow of the Motherhorn uh, platforms on uh, maybe non-English-speaking non countries, Spanish-speaking uh, environment, and, and so on. And then, as I was indicating yesterday, uh, the board met uh, here in, in Harvard in order to discuss some of the issues that we think are of strategic importance. And um, we mentioned documentation quite a couple of times, we also mentioned QA work, and you heard the uh, talk by Greg Logan yesterday. And we were actually hoping for you to come forward and propose sessions about how you could help with documentation, how you could uh, increase the QA rate, the test rate. And actually, I, I looked at the site that uh, Greg Logan put up, and there's uh, no contribution to that yet. So uh, uh, we thought, as a board, there's something else that we should do. And we came up with the, with the idea of doing a bug bash. Is that the correct term? So we would like to propose a coordinated effort uh, across not only, and especially not the committers, but also contributors to this project, to do um, a coordinated effort in uh, bug chasing, basically, in QAing. Uh, we're not certain about the details. Maybe you can, because you seem to have most experience about this, um, tell us more how this would look like. But basically, 
the idea is that with this coordinated effort and maybe even making it a bit of fun, uh, we could then increase um, our velocity towards a better QA situation in general, uh, and maybe even towards the 1.4 release. Um, we'll see as a result of this whether this is something that we can use as an instrument uh, continually, but it's certainly something that we consider uh, worth an effort uh, in this situation. But this shouldn't prevent you, though, from still uh, raising sessions about uh, documentation and how you can help with wiki gardening in general. But maybe, first of all, you could tell more about the bug bash then. Sure. <clears throat> it's, it's, it's an idea, and it's been done before. Um, but really, it, it's, it's a way of bringing people into um, uh, helping really find the bugs and uh, quickly and fix them quickly um, and doing it in a way that feels very coordinated, doesn't feel like you have to have special expertise, and you don't. Um, so you can really call on your staff from sort of any, any layer. We have people in our training support side do this kind of thing, um, as well as some of our tech ops and, and, and deeper. So what we were thinking about was doing something that would be um, synchronous, as synchronous as we could make it, um, given our, our different um, global locations, um, where uh, teams, campus teams come together and will be deployed against doing some uh, bug bashing, some, some simple scripts going and, and, um, and plans, and uh, make it a little competition maybe, um, uh, work with managers to, to uh, get some pizza and, and beer or drinks in, and uh, you know those of us who, uh, and, and I'm in this competition here, and I plan to win, I want you to know. Um, those of us who uh, have the most bugs, you know, will get some sort of award. We're kind of planning here what the award would be uh, at the next unconference where uh, we'd be presenting those, those awards and recognizing people online. So trying to make it a little fun, um, you know, get a little of that, those competitive juices flowing, and at the same time, let people um, start to play with the product a little bit and, uh, and socialize them to that. So we'll have to figure out, we'll work with Greg, and we'll have to figure out kind of the timing on this around the release and everything, but um, we'll, be, we'll be sending some messages out to list, and if it's successful, maybe we'll, we'll keep doing this. Is there, is there something like a documentation bash also that you can do? No. Probably this will take longer. Okay. Good morning, Marcus. Um, <laughs> well, that's, that's it about the board. As I said, if, if you feel there's something we, we should uh, take up as an issue, then feel free to, to contact us. And uh, we're certainly continually meeting, and you will also... Um, hear the news about uh, the voting in, in, in fall. So basically, it's a, it's a, a process that we'll, you will see in, uh, every year now within this community. Um, so it's back to you, I guess, and session planning. Thank you very much. All right. And I, I'd actually like to have two volunteers from the board to uh, do my job, which is to run the microphones for a moment. Thank you. Uh, what I want, if we could have one on either side. I'm going to read people's names off, and when I read your name, when I read your name, uh, either Olaf or Mara will find you, and you'll talk about. You'll just give a hi. I'm, you know, hi. I'm Adam, and this is my session, kind of thing. So, first up is uh, Adam McKenzie. Hi, everybody. I'm Adam McKenzie from the University of Saskatchewan. Uh, we're just running a session on uh, what we're. Uh, what our last year has been like running Matterhorn and what stats we have and that kind of stuff. Christopher Brooks. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Chris. I'm, I'm interested in the ed part of the ed tech puzzle uh, here, and so I'd be interested in discussing what I found as far as results from learning impact, from stu uh, surveys with students and uh, data analysis, some learning analytics, but I'm interested in what you might have found as well and, um, and how we can kind of get together and, and do some joint research work uh, in this area. Chris Brewer, who's already scheduled. Um, so Chris Brewer with MIT, interested with uh, campus video portals. Um, what are people doing currently? How can Matterhorn tie into those? Uh, what synergies might be out there between different systems, et cetera, et cetera, yada, yada? Thanks. Hank Magnuski from NCAST. Yeah, so maybe you could just say 
Hi, and what your session? You're going to be Hank's going to be in the capture agent showcase, but it, uh, you'll see him okay. this afternoon for sure. There are two NCAS sessions. There's a lightning talk in the capture agent showcase, and I wanted to provide a more in-depth uh, look at the capture agent and some hands-on training for uh, anybody who is either running a pilot or interested in seeing what we have to offer or uh, just a closer look at the hardware. So. That was the proposal for a birds of a feather type of session. Thank you. Uh, Chris, you want to talk maybe about the Summer of Code and the, the QA practices? Yeah, so for the Summer of Code, uh, there's, we had a number of Summer of Code uh, submissions uh, for the Google project uh, this year. Um, and we were awarded three different spots. Uh, there's uh, two or three of us mentoring, um, but there's an, an interesting uh, selection of projects. So we just wanted to give an overview of what's happening. Uh, Rudiger, I think, uh, will be, I don't know where Rudiger is. Oh, will be uh, uh, presenting this with me. Um, and ideally, we'll be in a room with AV capabilities. Uh, the second one, quality assurance practices uh, for 1.4. Um, I, I think this will be a breakout, and uh, there will maybe be a few of us talking about um, the specifics of QA and, and what we can do f around uh, QA for specifically for 1.4. And Vicente, okay. uh, I think, I think you've, you've also proposed a number of, ses of sessions. Yeah, uh, four, I guess. <laughs> First one is about uh, our pilot. Uh, I presented it in, in Oxford at the beginning of the semester. And now I would like to uh, present the, the outcomes of this pilot, what uh, works and what uh, did not, and why we lose uh, or lost some, some lectures and, and, and so on. And um, second one is about Calicaster project. It's a project, Calicaster is a, is a, a device, or a, but also a software that works um, with the Matterhorn core, same as the uh, standard capture agent, but it has a, um, an, a user interface designed for touch screen, gives you feedback of video, audio, and, and so on. And I think you had some other ones down here, right? Another one is about uh, Gallet Tracker. Gallet Tracker, yeah. Gallet Tracker is a last-minute um, proposal. It's um, it's it's uh, a workflow um, procedures or, or operations that using a specific uh, face tracking algorithm is able to simulate a cameraman, a human cameraman, following the professor and give, it, give us the capability to, uh, to merge together uh, BGA and, and professor in a way that you can use it in, in mobile devices. And it's another one. Was there another one? I know. I don't, then no. That might be it. All right. Thank you, Vicente. Welcome. Rudiger. OK. Uh, what to start with, I guess I'm a little bit more up. <laughs> so I uh, could offer a talk about the current version of the Matterhorn to go app, uh, which we recently got into the iTunes store and so on, but I don't want to uh, talk too much about this. You can select it if you want, or I will talk on the lightning talks about this. Then um, I was um, thinking about offering a workshop if enough people are interested in how to create a custom workflow for Matterhorn as a good start to um, find out how to develop something for Matterhorn. Um, comment in the Engage player. I would skip this talk uh, because uh, what somebody else I'm looking um, you supposed a round table about uh, commenting and annotation in uh, multimedia. So I would uh, prefer your session as a larger view for of this. Um, and talk a little bit about what we did then in this uh, session. Um, confidence monitoring would be something that I could show uh, for what we did. And um, live streaming was discussed for uh, several times already. And um, I would hope that some people would uh, come together to discuss what the, uh, the expectations on live streaming with Matterhorn and uh, how um, we could uh, 
settle down on new behavior and uh, new interfaces for this. Especially maybe vendors have Okay, yeah, you are right. Capture agent vendors are the ones who are mostly <laughs> targeted by this. And uh, yeah, we wrote a small software for Windows uh, to capture uh, from current devices. Um, maybe people are interested in this or not. Um, yeah, and I guess I can pass over to you now. Oh yeah, oh, well, Mara's there. Oh right, I'm, I'm here. Uh, HTML5 is a popular topic among many, not just for video delivery, but also for features. Uh, this, my proposal is not for a presentation or, or, or a round table, but more like uh, we sit in a breakout group and we, and we share what our institutional challenges are and identifying needs that HTML5 might be a solution for. I think it'd be uh, critical to apply that to Matterhorn and, and what, can, what can be developed for Matterhorn that fits into this space too. Carlos? Did I pass them? Here we go. We could we could merge to. Did you? No, no, did, let's did, go to Carlos. Oh. Hello, I'm Carlos from Valencia, Spain. Um, I want to show you some things we have made in HTML5. I'm sure we'll talk with Brian, and we've made a. Uh, a replacement or a substitution for the English player that's working already on HTML5. And it's just to show and to comment and to see what we're, we're going to do next with that HTML5. Did yes. everybody see the, the Paella player that yeah. went around the community list? It was excellent. Yeah. Um, and this is a perfect example where I feel like my proposal and your proposal, we can just make it one thing. Yeah, I, I guess I guess that's, that's the way we, we should work on. OK. Yeah. And there's enough votes that we'll, we'll definitely get a crowd. All right, good deal. Uh, it's a deal. Marcus. OK. <clears throat> good morning, everybody. Marcus Gattel from Fraunhofer. Uh, I would um, talk about how to build an extend engagement. So it's more get your hands dirty on code workshop. So how to start, how to build and extend. And I think it's a perfect uh, combination to talk with the HTML5 guys to, to get in touch and to see what's coming next. So that's it. Stuart. Hey, I'm uh, Stuart Phillipson from the University of Manchester. Um, so there's been a lot of development on Matterhorn in the last 12 months, and I figured it might be useful for the next 12 months if maybe we could share where your institution is planning on doing development work so that we're not all independently trying to reinvent the wheel. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a topic I'd like to go to for sure. View from the field. Tobias and Andy. This is Andy. Hopefully uh, all Andy this, right? Tobias had his hands full. Yeah, he had his hands. We'll give him a little more time on the stage, though. Um, I, maybe we can join together with Stuart. But view from the field, we get a lot of questions about the work we're doing around the world with different customers. So this was maybe a session to sit down around a table and talk about the work we're doing and we plan to do over the next 6 to 12 months with um, different customers. So maybe we could join together with Stuart and, and, and work together on that one. We have another one, um, Matterhorn Scalability, which was under Tobias's name there. Um, just talking about, um, you know, Tobias was talking about starting small and then and then scaling up. So um, we have some experience in obviously scaling Matterhorn and other parts of the lecture capture system. So that's what this session would be touching on is, is scaling uh, lecture capture. I guess there's another one too. The uh, did you already mention it? That if I missed it, the uh, the idea of selling Matterhorn to key decision makers. <laughs> Excellent. So, so yeah, I'm afraid that's my fault. Um, so, so Andy, Tobias, and I recently sold the idea of Matterhorn to some key decision makers within my institution, and I felt that we really learned a lot by doing that. And um, uh, I, I guess I'd like to share our experiences and hear from other people whether you were successful, whether you're thinking of doing it, whether you pitched and failed. Um, uh, I think it's really going to kind of slow the rate of adoption unless we you know, start sharing our experiences, particularly in that area. Okay, finally, Chris. Huh? Chris is right behind you. Oh, sorry. No, too many Chris's. Uh, Chris Colvard from Indiana University, working on the variations on video project. And so I have two lightning talks proposed. One, just an interview, uh, an overview of what the variations on video project is, what its goals are, 
kind of what we're planning on working on for the next, uh, by the end of the calendar year, uh, as well as a lightning talk on a very beginning of a Ruby REST client that can be used in scripts or the Rails environment, um, as well as a birds of a feather, just for anyone who might be using Matterhorn in a non-lecture capture or in just a creative uh, different way to get together and, and talk about um, experiences, uh, pitfalls, or just share what creative uses you've, you've come up with. That's going to be a helpful session, too, that I'd like to attend. Uh, I, I skipped one, thank, and thank you all for pointing it out. The data lifecycle archiving and metadata. I don't have a, a name on this one, so I don't know who. Hey, all right. It's, it's okay. Hi, unfortunately at uh, UCT, sorry, Roger Brown from you, the University of Cape Town. We can't take storage uh, for granted. Um, ICTS want us to justify archiving, how much we need, why we need it, et cetera, et cetera. So we're trying to get a handle on um, the most appropriate way of archiving, what to archive, how to meta tag, what's the value, how to make any archived material available to a later date. Um, so it's a general discussion about so it's impacts on our scalability, I suppose. Did you also propose the Epiphan Capture hardware session? I think we have, we have Epiphan here. Uh, oh, they, they'll be part of the Capture Agent Showcase. Sure. Art's here. I don't know if you wanted to say hey. Yeah, somehow my name didn't end up on the, on the list. My name is Art. Uh, I'm from Epiphan Systems in Ottawa. We manufacture the hardware, uh, you know, capable of uh, working with the Matterhorn platform. I'll be doing the Capture Agent Showcase uh, portion of, uh, it's gonna be like a lightning talk session and I'll have some hardware as well to, to show uh, next room. So see you in the afternoon. Uh, Media rich video annotations, Philip. Hi, yes, this is um, basically a, a round, uh, round table birds of a feather discussion about how do we start integrating media rich annotations into the Matterhorn framework and thinking about it more as a layer of annotations on top of, so annotation metadata that is not just textual, but any kind of annotation. So you can annotate a video with a video, or annotate a video with an image, or an audio, or any combination of those. Uh, what should be contributed to Matterhorn project for the Asian community? Uh, good morning. Uh, I'm Jack. I'm here. Uh, come from Japan. So. I'm just inter uh, I'm just thinking uh, UC Berkeley. So, and uh, I'm just interested in the internationalization of Matterhorn, and uh, I will be ready for the making a community of uh, Asian people or uh, some Japanese people. I'm just uh, if you have a time, uh, we will I will just introduce to the Japan situation of uh, some uh, education technology committee. Uh, community. So, and uh, I just interested in the connecting to the Matterhorn to the some LM, LMS tools of, uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, just I will uh, introduce to like this situation. If you have uh, time and interest in the non. Uh, uh, English people uh, situation. Uh, please uh, attend it. Thank you. Last but not least, uh, Stephen and Roger, Ventures with Audio. So I think Stephen touched on a little bit yesterday. Um, thanks, everyone. So we're interested in sharing experiences and hearing from you about what you do to get good audio or what your audio problems are, everything from microphones, placement of microphones, um, user behavior, training issues, what's appropriate. Um, signal processes, follow-up audio processing. So if you're interested in audio, if it's an issue, then we'd like to share experiences. Go for it. So, sorry, I added a very last minute one. That oh, I think oh was good. Before you did That's that. what it's all about. About documentation? <laughs> Not about documentation. Um, it was just a couple of people were speaking to me who weren't here yesterday to see Stephen's presentation. So I suggested maybe a lightning talk where we show the LTI integration we're working on. Because I've heard a number of people asking about LMS integrations, and mm. that's what we're aiming for. So. 
All right, so that's what we have right now. It doesn't have to be limited to that. If you're sitting there going, well, I'd actually like to talk about this, the good news is that we have tons of space. That's starting to fill up. So my, here's my thinking. Uh, there were some popular roundtable discussions that, were, that we went over. I would propose that the folks who propose those sessions find some space on the schedule and, and put your name in and your session in. Uh, the ones I'm thinking about just you know, right off the top of my head is Philip had a good one there in terms of a round table on video annotations, Chris's on unconventional uses of Matterhorn, uh, selling the idea of Matterhorn slash, I don't know, institutional plans might be a good one. Um, engage player, how to build and extend would be a, a nice one to have. Um, the HTML5 one will, is it okay uh, with uh, guys? Uh, Vicente and, and Cruz, is that right? If we like mold that HTML5 session into one, is that cool? With the Paella player? Like that could be a good one. Um, Rudiger, is there one here that you think is like a, maybe like the confidence monitoring live streaming might be? I'm thinking about sessions, not lightning talks. Um, it seems like there's some interest there. We've got 13 votes already. Um, And what else in terms of roundtable stuff? Uh, the uh, oh, the learning impact stuff. Chris's session might be a good one. Um, and I know Hank too. If you wanted to try, if if you wanted to have a capture agent overview session, there are some votes there too. Okay, so like if we can cross those out first, the the session slash work group slash roundtables, and fill up those bigger blocks, then we can work on down to lightning talk topics. And Chris, you have a question? Yeah, what, what rooms are being recorded? Oh, that's a great question. This right now is going to be the only room that's recorded and streamed. Is that right, NCAS guys? We, we were talking about doing the other AV room, 108, but um, we were a little undecided. What's that? I think we can set it up. OK, so Hank thinks he can set it up, but it might take some time. So realistically, maybe the first session wouldn't be recorded and streamed if they could do that. but. Everything in this room is going to be recorded and streamed. All the lightning talks are going to be in here, so they're going to, they're going to be recorded and streamed. So um, this gives you a general overview. Anybody have any questions? Yes, sir. Well, this is my first unconference, and I'm totally confused. It's OK. It's mine, um, too. <laughs> you haven't, I mean, we voted on certain things, and some of them have good stuff. I don't see on the, the Google Doc anything about the workflow customization or the engage extensions, both of which are really important for what we want to do. So um, let's, um, so the joy of the unconference is we can just make it. If you, if you think that's a session at Rudiger, would you be open to having another session on being? No, the, they're on the list. Where they, they just haven't shown up in the document thing yet. Yeah, because, because no one has put them there, because we are doing the scheduling right now. Because we just well, okay. introduced so to the... Do we, could I put it there? I mean, You can yeah, put it there. Yeah. I thought it was only the presenters. So I thought you were just having a discussion among all the presenters and trying to sort out what it was, which means the rest of us are just sitting here and doing nothing. But Yeah, okay. anyone can jump in at any time. If I, if I, didn't, if I wasn't clear at the okay. beginning, the, uh, this document is open to be edited by anybody. So any one of you can go to that bit.ly link, log into the spreadsheet, and claim space. So. The idea here is that, like some of the folks I just mentioned there, um, like Chris and the IU guys, if you wanted to find a time that you'd want to block your schedule, go in, go ahead and plan it. Same thing with Chris Brooks, if you haven't done that already, like find a space where you can do that. Um, and we're just going to fill these in now. And I'm, I'm here to help and answer questions. I can fill so, it in for you too. Carlos, Carlos, you choose a time for the HTML5 session together with uh, Brian, and you just enter it into the into the schedule. And then everyone who has got a significant amount of votes uh, for his or her session, basically you choose a time and start the scheduling. So and what I oh, will, yeah, will basically ahead. follow, and then we'll see how this will sort of set up itself, like a miracle. Yeah. yeah, I'll show the link to the the Bitly again. So for example, um, I just put in a block here, HTML5. We can have our session then. Yeah, sure. Remember, there's a day two as well. Yeah, there is a day two, right? So where do I have the day two? 
Is it okay for yeah, you, Carlos, moving it? Okay. Is it the problem about recording in this? Okay. So let me fix this. I, I did move the, uh, yes. Okay, this guy I would like to d delete. Okay. So we'll have an HTML5 session in the other AV room, and that'll immediately follow this. Um, so we still have some sessions open for this morning, right? So what's another one that we could put in there? Um, we've got the engaged player extensions and extending workflows in here in this room. The other AV room is open still. Um, so let's see. Uh, and the, uh, any any idea when you'd want to have your sessions? Oh, you did. Okay. It's tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, great. Great. Um, so we still have a main AV room open. Um, Chris from IU, what what time did would you want to have like that unconventional uses thing? And in, in we have the breakout rooms open. That might be a good breakout room session. It's coming. Okay. And what else am I missing here? Oh, mobile apps? <clears throat> to be yes. Did you enter your session? Scalability? I oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I want to say the, um, the mobile app was a lightning talk, too. Oh, you did. You did. Okay, so that's in there. So um, the engage um, stuff was planned to be somehow of a workshop where we sit together. I don't know if this is appropriate here or if we should break out in a different room. I don't know. So it's it's, it's up. What, um, I'd say it's up to you. Whatever you think the format would work best. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it it depends on what people want to see. So if I should give more general introduction of how it works, how it looks like, or and what the intentions have been. Code. Code. So <laughs> recording is good. Okay. If if we want to see code, then. I would propose that we sit together in a different room and, uh, yeah, take a look. Uh, did we want to do the media annotations one? What time you well, um, do you want to show something or you want to talk about it? I, I have a lot of information to show. We can talk. I, mean, I can start with some slides and open up the conversation. Okay. Let's so let's do this. You want to, um, we've got, Let's see, I'm looking at the schedule now. Um, we have some time open in a breakout room here. You want to do that? That's okay. This is still the morning. Okay. So we even like 10:45 or 11:30. Okay. Uh, which which one works for you? Uh, either. Okay. So this is media annotations. Oh, right, right. So let's push it back. I would prefer it's possible for you to go through tomorrow. I can. I, okay. Actually, let, let me just... Sorry. I, Brian. Did, oh, yes. I, I just noticed that uh, people are adding more lightning talks than there was allocated space for. Oh, oh Originally, yeah. Originally, there was six, I think, and yes. seven now. Okay, that's a good point. Just because a concern. Keep that in mind. If we do the math, <laughs> think about that. We're not going to have enough time to do any of those lightning talks. But I think there's space on... The next day. Tomorrow. What's that? There's space, tomorrow. There's space tomorrow. So I think we can fit five um, lightning talks in this afternoon. So can I move six and seven to tomorrow? Whoever put in this and. The Google Summer of Code update is going to be longer than 10 minutes because there's two of us with three students. Why don't you do a session instead of a lightning yeah, talk? Yeah, yeah. We could if that's preferred. Yeah. I don't know that we need 40 minutes, but. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> well, there's plenty of time open tomorrow. Sure. So how about I'll remove this lightning talk, 
And if you want to put it into the thing for tomorrow, and Galacaster, can I move your lightning talk to tomorrow? Because we're not going to have enough time today. No, that'll make enough because I, I still have two sessions. I said five and six. Yeah. Okay. So you can just well, I'm just I'm worried about the time that we have for this block of lightning talks. I think we can only realistically fit five within that. It is. Just delete it. It is five. Six. Oh, it is? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, how about that? I haven't had any coffee. <laughs> All right, this is working. I feel like it's working. Uh, somebody wanted to see the, the, the thing again. This, these are the list. These are the schedules, if you haven't seen the bit.ly links. The day two link, the day three link. Brian, yes, can sir? you remind me why HTML5 is in the slot it currently is in? Yeah, we are, we're starting to run over time in our scheduling. Uh, so on day one, like as soon as we leave, we'd start the HTML5 thing. Okay. Or, I mean, I can, I can push this, I can push it back, because that's going to be popular. I wouldn't want that to conflict with the campus video portal. I'm thinking a lot of people are going to want to see that too. That's the reason why I'm asking the yeah. question. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to push back. Would that interfere with Engage then? I could do it right before lunch. No, no. <laughs> I could do it tomorrow. Paella player tomorrow too. Let's do that. I, I, that works for me. Um, did, was this an accident? Cap, campus video, video portal is also tomorrow. Okay. So how about this? Let's do it right after. Um, right after the lightning talks tomorrow. Because it'll be popular and everybody will be here. Is that cool? It looks like you're going to say something, Jody. It's, uh, and it's all right. Well, I thought I thought I had put the live streaming and confidence monitoring. That's oh, <clears throat> oh yeah? But, uh, on, uh, uh, is that on? Uh, yeah, right there. The, OK. So, so it, I mean, you could move one to the, to yep. the later slot. Like here? Or I could do it here? That's what I was thinking. Is everyone going to be here before lunch? I hope so. All right. Uh, you still don't have the, the live. Yeah, I'm going to ref refresh. Come on, Google. Great. <laughs> Great. Cool. Okay. Thanks. All right. So the main room seems to be blocked out for tomorrow. The good news is like we don't have, to fill, we don't have to fill up Friday. Brian? Yes. Can you, can you uh, if you go to the current day? Yep. And extending workflows is probably what I supposed uh, I would like to see it tomorrow uh, afternoon, and we can put the uh, annotation stuff there, if it's okay for you. So you were thinking the annotation would be tomorrow? No, today at uh, 11.30. Perfect. Wait, so you want to do today? Yeah. Workflows and annotations? No, not workflows, only annotations. Only annotations. Workflows Probably tomorrow, is it? OK. So <laughs> what happened? How about this? How about we do Paella player demo today, HTML5 roundtable tomorrow? That way, it's a demo of something today, HTML5, and then we can talk about stuff tomorrow. And that way, we could keep that slot. Well, I think engage player extensions might be uh, that'd be a, a deep conversation in itself. Why don't we just bump a lightning talk tomorrow? Or yeah. A lightning talk today? One of these. Yeah. Okay. Is there anyone to volunteer who's got a lightning talk today who would move on to tomorrow? Good or girl. Thank you. Um, is that okay, David? Can we move you over? Okay. So I will move your lightning talk over, and this will become Paella Player, right? All right. And then I will move this one to the lightning talk. Um, we got plenty of time in the morning tomorrow, so um, great. We'll start it off with LTI integration, okay? So let's, uh, how's, how's today looking? Is this going to be enough for everybody to, do we want to put, is everybody interested, how many people are interested in the campus video portal? Okay. 
So that's like half the room. Is there one more session we could schedule in this next block that follows here for that would be of interest for the people who don't want to check out the, the portal? Because then we'd have two tracks through the morning, and that would work. We'd have two sessions going on at the same time. There'd be a there'd be variety for everybody, I think. And maybe uh, you go back to the sessions. Yeah. And we can keep changing this too. Um, if you're at a session, you think of another session, you can return to the schedule and, and, and plan it. We're going to check in on this throughout the day. I'm going to put this schedule up on the website. So I don't want everyone to think that we're setting this in stone right now. This is, we're just getting the framework to get started. And we can modify this over the next day or two. Um, what do you think? Is there anything here, Olaf, that caught your eye? What's that quality assurance practices from you, Chris? Did you yeah. just end? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Notice it's not scheduled. <laughs> is that someone? Is that something we sh could interest someone in at this early hour? Quality, quality assurance. <laughs> no, I think it has to be something that that is um, sort of a bit to the to the other end. So maybe something around capture agents. Well, the For one those I'm, who are not interested in, in, in the video portal right now, would they be interested in capture agents or something related to that? We have two yes. things. Like so NCAST, for example, I know that they are building up the recording setting as we speak over but there. That, so might, that might, I'm thinking about this creatively, but they are in the other room setting up gear. Hank's already there. It, it could technically turn into an NCAST session when he's done. Is that something you... But he's not here to agree to it. <laughs> you would? You'd go? I, th I mean, I think Frank would be, I don't want to speak on Frank's behalf, or Hank's behalf. Why do I keep, why do I, all day today I've been calling him Frank, and he's not Frank, he's Hank. What's wrong with me? No coffee. <laughs> no, come on. Yeah. Who would be interested in, the, in that session at all? Who would move to, to the other room for an NCAST session right now, instead of the video portal? Let's three, four. I think that's sufficient. OK. Uh, let's say uh, NCAS uh, slash capture agent. I'll just go there. And uh, I know that some of the capture agent people are here, too. Um, it could also come, become like a little meet and greet with the capture agent people before the, the lightning talks, if you're interested. All right. Is that okay? We'll do that. I was hoping that that birds of a feather would be kind of round table as opposed to presentation style, but I mean, we can do that too. Are you going to have presentation materials at all, Andy? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, and I mean, we can still stream it if it's of interest. But then, yeah. Then yeah. It's totally up to you guys. Um, Just yes. What, one thing is. Um, the learning analytics and the lecture capture campaign, the learning analytics part, there's, there's some overlap with annotations because there's ways of analyzing what you're learning through annotations. So I'm not sure, it would be inter I would love to, to see how we can participate. Um, the concurrent sessions would be an overlap, but there's an, in there's an interesting element to the annotations and the learning analytics. Can we swap the two? Between, oh, how about this? OK, here we go. Um, Chris. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking. I could move. Which one, the, uh, the birds of a feather? Yeah. How many people want to do the analytics? Yeah, that's what I think we're up um, How about, um, it's a tough one. It's tough. But again, it might not be an overlap. It just yeah. there is a good potential for overlap because it's what the implications are. Well, here's the good news. Um, I think we've got plenty to talk about. And Jody, one, one thing and then. That's, that's, yes.
That's that's perfect advice. You said that? You didn't? <laughs> well, I think that's that's true. So how about this? Um, I'm going to leave. Uh, we've got NCAST in now. They'll be in the other room. We're going to start the campus video portal now. And we do have sessions going on in two tracks for the rest of the morning. We have the afternoon blocked out. I, I'm going I'm to go with what Tobias said. Tobias said, sorry. Um, if, if there's something you think about and you're not learning something that you, you came here to learn about, just put a session in here. And people will look at the schedule. And if they're interested, they'll show up. Tomorrow. Yeah, we moved it to, is it tomorrow? Yeah. Where, where should it be? Right here? Workflows? Can we put it there for now, just so we don't lose track of it? I would hate to lose track of it. No, it's a lightning talk. Yeah. OK. All right. Let's get started with the first two sessions. And we'll, we're going to work on it from there. And again, if you think of something, just throw it in. There's plenty of time open. Grab a spot. Other folks will see it. We'll keep reminding people to look at the schedules. And if you see something that you want to see, just, just go, go attend. That's, it is an unconference. It's about serendipity. It's about no rules, man. No rules at all. OK, so uh, Chris, I'll help you get started up in here. And uh, does someone want to? Hank is, Hank is over there, but he's moving with you to room B108. OK. Unfortunately, the first session, I'm going to say, will have to be a little short, because I want to stay on schedule for the rest of the day. <laughs>